So that way everybody's up to speed with the stories, you know what I mean? Because <clears throat> all the season 2 characters, they don't have anything. They don't have endings or anything. So they, I think they're going to focus on them first. Guys, I'll be back later. If Grimms gets off, I'll see you all tomorrow night. Later, Frank. Yeah, we're going to be streaming tomorrow. Today we had some free time, so I thought, you know, might as well stream some games. Um, we're not going to stream nearly as long tonight because that's meant for tomorrow. That's meant for Tuesday, not Monday. So I want to be able to have all my energy. And I want to be able to be ready for an early stream like we usually do on those days. <clears throat> Ooh. Oh. Oh, nice, nice, nice. Ooh, straight, strong, strong. All right. Gotcha. Damn, book that right away. That was dumb. I, I didn't use, I used the meter, but didn't do anything with it. There we go. That's better. Team Pantene, man. Damn, still breaks those heavies. I thought he was going to go for a straight shatter. That's why I woke up. Nice try. Nice try on that one. That does work. Oh, good stuff. What's up, Miguel2435? How are you? Grims, do you think... Do you think they should up Omen's damage? Man, I don't know, man. Cause I'm, I'm like, dis I'm like, I feel like I'm discovering a lot of things that kind of make him really viable in these matches. No matter how badly you can rush him down, you know what I mean? Cause like, I'm, I'm doing combos with and without counter breaks that does like at least like 40 to 50 percent with one bar, and I know the majority of the cast can do way more than that. You know, like they can pull off like 55 to 60 percent with one bar off of a counter break or off of a really silly combo uh, uh, lockout, you know, or counter break. Yeah, but uh, I don't know, man. I don't know. I. Hmm. I feel like the raging demon is cool and all, but I don't think he needs it. You know, I don't think he needs. I don't think he needs it. I think he could get something else. You know, if I could trade something for something else, I would trade the 100% grab for something else. Because <clears throat> it's just, it's an all or nothing move. That's not even guaranteed, but... <clears throat> it's, a, it's a hype factor that's not, like... It's a hype move... That's just way too risky to toss out there. I don't know, man. Is there a reason you use teleport mid combo other than making a harder break? Reset. Resetting's good. Plasmax. They don't all give the same meter. No. The the core circle forward punch gives the most meter. It's my understanding.
Oh, th that's pretty cool. The uh, the orbits actually changed uh, their direction when he jumped to the other side. <coughs> I thought that was pretty cool. Yeah, get rid of that. Get rid of that. Okay. Ah, go straight into heavies. That's gonna kill me. Is it? Oh shit, didn't it? Damn, man. Not sure how to. Hmm. He just constantly jumps back. I might. Yeah, but you can't rely on these things, man. You just can't. Uh. Fucking A. Ran into heavies again. I'm always anticipating he's gonna go into jabs, but he's he's going for straight heavies. Gotta catch him. Gotta catch him. Nope. Damn it. Can I catch him now? Nope. Ugh. I'm a bit, like, if I could trade anything for anything, I would trade in his 100% grab to grant him throw and projectile invulnerable moves. Because his shadow slide, correct me, correct me if I'm wrong, his shadow slide is not projectile invulnerable. And it's not throw invulnerable. It's just a, it's just a really long five hit slide. I've seen and been thrown out of the slide before. Uh, and, and for con and controllable fireballs. So th that's what I feel like. Trade in the 100% grab for controllable fireballs, and and uh, you know th either a throw or projectile invulnerable uh, a shadow because yeah. But that's just me. I enjoy playing him the way he is right now. You know, <clears throat> I'm not gonna cry wolf and be like change his character. <laughs> you know. Yeah, teleport is invulnerable, but it's not by any means something that you can literally just like float across the screen. It's a very, 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 very... It's like liquid eyes. Think of it as liquid eyes. Think of it like that. Liquid eyes. Damn it. I'd love to anti him once when he does that, but I can't. Alright, that's heavy as that time. Ugh. God damn swarms. Shit's hard. If I because if I was playing Shadow Jago, I would just shadow wing kick through them. You know what I mean? Because that would that would definitely, you know, go down, you know, for mind games. When should I put a swarm? When should I not put a swarm? You know what I mean? All that stuff. Ugh. I'm trying it. I'm trying my best to actually hit that, hit it out. Maybe I should just use light kick. Let's see. There we go. What the? Where's my ender? Oh gosh. Breaks the first thing again. Jeez. Maybe I should just counter break the very first thing I'm gonna do. Or maybe I should just try it once, because I think he's been trying to break very first thing. Gosh. Hmm. That's gonna hit me. See, the Shadow Wing Kick would have worked there too. I don't know. There we go. All right. Next, rest of, rest of everything is gonna be hard. All 
Oh my goodness, that shit's hard. God damn. God damn. So, I am so determined to figure that out, man. It's gonna be a crazy battle. Because the thing is, like, I, I, I should probably be using a uh, jumping low kick to break the swarms, but... But if Conra's ready for that... Like, if he just knows that you're going to try to break it. And you can't rely on slide. You can't. Not even shadow slide. You'll get hit by everything. So what, what I'm doing that's kind of silly is I'm using fireballs to kind of break every single one of them. But again, using fireballs with omen is a risk to yourself. Because you won't know what's going to be on contact and what's going to be a dud. What's going to stay in front of you to protect you and what's not going to protect you and just fly away. You know what I mean? It's pretty tough. So, <laughs> that was a really good game. I'd like to play him again, though. I would really like to play him. Uh, um, I, I, I'm a firm believer of, of the Omen Glaces becoming easier for, for Omen. But it's it's way harder for uh, Conra. Unless you're saying Glaces versus Conra. Is that what you're saying? Glaces versus Conra? Because... That's better than Omen versus Conra. That's for sure. Because you can actually hit them. You got Shatters. You got Shadow Shatter that tracks. Hail. You know, all that stuff. Don't you dare. Damn. Oh, he tries to break again. Try to break again. <clears throat> oh, okay. Yeah, I didn't know what you meant, Spada. Broke again. <laughs> oh, God. Oh, nice. Broke again. Damn it! I wish those orbs would hit. All right. Well, that sucks to hear that Turtle Beach. If, if Turtle Beach one, if that's how you feel, man, there are plenty of other other games, other streams that stream other fighting games or other games that, you know, you're more than welcome to join, man. I just don't see, like, why make yourself suffer if you like... Like, for anybody that likes to watch, like, hate, like, people that hate games, but they put themselves through the suffering to watch it, like, every stream, like, every, like, major, like, tournaments or whatever, when they're, like, hosting Smash, KI, Street Fighter, you always get those folks that are like, This game sucks. Why do people watch this? This is the worst game ever. Like, they're trying to preach to everybody, but the thing is, is like, they're hurting themselves. Don't make yourself suffer. There are, like, tens of thousands of other streams that you could be in to make your life way easier. You know? Don't, don't. I care about you. Don't hurt yourself. 